This video is on uh, RJ Lithium uh, 271 amp hours uh, battery cells and um, this is uh, I'm just unpacking them right now and I found out about this these batteries from uh, I ordered them direct from uh, RJ's um, website and I found out about this from um, a couple of groups, D DIY Solar and um, Group, and then also um, Lithium Batteries on Boats Facebook group. So they come batteries direct, directly from the manufacturer, and uh, they sell several different battery cells, but these are the largest cells at the time that they had. And... They, they claim 6,000 cycles and their maximum of 3.65 volts. Um, they got an absolute minimum of 2.5 volts. And um, I haven't measured the internal resistance on them, but um, several people online uh, did, did have very favorable things to say. And if you press this button right here, you can just contact them and they'll respond very quickly. The guy there, Carl, speaks very good English and uh, writes very good English anyway. And he is very quick about responding to quotes. And I think you can uh, communicate very well with him. And I know probably a at least probably five transactions that went very smoothly. Mine certainly went very smoothly. Uh, the only thing, only sort of word of caution, you know, these aren't calib, you know, cells, prismatic cells. These are aluminum cells and they are a, a lot less expensive than calib cells, but I believe they're a, an extremely good value. Um, you can pay more and maybe there are some higher quality cells with larger screws, but um, these appear to be a really good value point. Uh, of course, before you buy any cells, you should probably read this article. Uh, and I'm, I'm talking about whether you're building your own cells or you're going to buy a drop-in battery. There's a guy here, Rod, at Marine How To. You should read this entire article. It will take you some time, but um, he continuously re edits it. And um, he inserts edits all the time, and there are very, uh, very good information. I am not an expert. I mainly just follow what he says, and that's how I got into just you know, building my own, um, my, my own cells. Like this, in this packaging, which is really good. And then um, each, each battery is also individually packed in one of these boxes. So it's pretty good packaging. And the cells are, um, they're remarkably small for 271. They're aluminum. Um, cells and I'll show you um, you can kind of see the bottom of the cell uh, and then uh, that's the uh, marking on the top and then they have this I don't exactly know what that is I'll show you more later take a closer look at these batteries now um, here's the uh, negative uh, lead on the batteries and here's the positive lead so I tested these things and um, there I was getting roughly 3.05 across uh, each cell so there um, I'm going to uh, parallel these um, I think it's important to buy extra strips I got I got um, got six of these uh, so I can so I'm going to be able to um, there's going to be four cells and I'm going to parallel these and um, top balance all these cells that's my plan so you have to order six 
as far as the knots um, they're they're using um, M6 screws and there's a screw in there and I measured from the bottom of the cell all the way to the top of the cell and um, from here all the way to the top of the screw and I got 8.5 inches if you look at the these bus bars um, the thickness is roughly 2.3 millimeters and the width is 19.9 millimeters um, here's where I got the uh, here's the contact information from where I got the batteries from they were um, there's a guy Gary Chafin that bought him a long time ago and he um, he told me about him on lithium batteries on boats and then there's also a DIY solar forum that um, Will's group and they think pretty highly of this this company okay. so you can see it's not quite square so they do bulge a little bit and you can kind of see here they try to see get the angle right for you here on the square but they do kind of you can see it there where they kind of go in they're kind of concave on the sides and they're convex they're convex on this side so when when you put these things together you get a little bit of a bulge here now some of this isn't a bulge it's it's due to this container but you can't fit them really close next to each other so you're going to leave your have to leave yourself a little extra room so what i have here is about a worst case of uh, 12 inches with a 4s pack um, and i think that'll probably be about right i'm going to show you um, so if you parallel them you're gonna they're gonna get squeezed a little closer together than that so now I have these things parallel together getting ready to top balance and got something less than um, 12 inches like a lot less than 12 inches like 11 and a half down here there's a gap right a gap at the bottom so they're squeezed in on the top but on the bottom there's gaps because you remember they were they're a little bit um, convex I think you're just gonna have to work with that when you're when you're figuring out how to put maybe you put bands around them, but you don't want to get the bands too tight on the bottom and you know because they might um, they, they, they might kind of put a little bit too much force on these and these are m6 screws so they're not super big um, and you can kind of see the bus bars on the side there I took a shot of that um, they did give me some extra screws which is pretty nice but I don't know so um, I think you're just gonna have to work with that when you're when you're figuring out how to put maybe you put bands around them, but you don't want to get the bands too tight on the bottom and you know because they might um, they, they, they might kind of put a little bit too much force on these and these are m6 screws so they're not super big um, and you can kind of see the bus bars on the side there I took a shot of that um, they did give me some extra screws which is pretty nice but I don't know what I'm going to use them for so I'll let you know what happens next